Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here with Wakefield Juniors. It's the season finale with five games left to go. We currently sit first after a great, great episode last time out. We beat w Grimsby Town 5-2. We beat Bradford City 2-0. We beat Salford City 3-2. While quick simming all these other games in between. A 2-0 win, a 2-1 win, a 2-2 draw, a 3-2 win, and a 3-1 win as well. We have been unbeaten since the end of January. That is now six, seven, eight games in a row that we have picked up at least a minimum of one point. Obviously, only drawing one game, winning seven of those eight games is absolutely insane. We only five wins, technically five wins away. We're only five games away from at least reaching automatic promotion, in which we are currently seven points clear at the top of the table. However, South First City and Grimsby Town do have a game in hand, so they could close that down to be a four-point gap between us and them. We have Ackerton Stanley, who are in 47 points. We have Wimbledon, who aren't the best. Swindon, who aren't the best. Carlisle United, who aren't the best. And Col Colchester, who aren't the best. Actually, Colchester is 11th. Wimbledon is in 12th. Carlisle is in 16th. Ackerton all the way down in 17th. Swindon all the way down in 22nd. So it's a more than an easy episode for us. We should be able just to cruise past into the starting into the first spot winning a league title is our last game home if our last game is home our last game is home that is beautiful to see if you are enjoying the series if you have enjoyed these last two seasons leave a like and subscribe and let's end the season with a bang now we are going to kick things off by quick sim in this game against Atkinson Stanley Santos who just came back from injury is not fit enough to play this game neither is Videlis so we're going to go ahead and let them sit out for today we'll quick sim this game we'll play against Wimbledon we'll play against Carlisle United and then we'll play the last game of the season as well as we win this game just barely with a 3-2 win price scoring in the 88th minute to get the winner porter and ramos both on the score sheet starting at 11 to take on wimbledon porter price soto ramos vadella martins cordoba Steele, guyano peters and olsen a fake shot again for some reason ramos cutting and turning ramos on his left foot on the ground into the back of the net wakefield break three it's 23 minutes in, and it's Ramos on the score sheet. Into Varela. Varela out wide to Porter. Porter now in for Price. No, Ramos on the rebound. 2 0 for Wakefield. And it's Ramos who doubles his goal tally and doubles the lead as well. Into Price right before halftime. Now to Soto. Back post for Porter. Touch shot. Oh, <laughs> it goes in. It's 3 0. The keeper absolutely whiffs it. It's 3-0 going to the break here against Wimbledon. This shot should never go in. This shot never, ever should be going into the back of the net. It wasn't even really on target. And in fact, it was maybe going back post. It was definitely going back post at least. But that is insane from the goalkeeper to miss save that. It's going to be a win here, though. Against Wimbledon, where I have time, I'll jump to Sim and just play it through and let the game play it out. They get one back, it's 3 1. I, I just let the game went ahead and just quick simmed. I was on the phone. I just let it play out. We ended up winning 4 2. I believe Price got a number, another goal, if I'm not mistaken. Doesn't tell me when he came in, but he did score. Ramos did get man of the match, so that will be a plus three stat boost on him. And like I said, no other like stat bonuses for a player individually in today's episode as we are just focusing solely of getting the league done but i will show you ahead and show you this screen this is where i do all the stat boost i am doing just plus three and seeing as his jumping is only 48 we are going to jump that up to 51 so he'll have 51 jumping now i'm trying not to do it all on one thing i'm trying to spread it out because most of the time you i would probably just do if I was doing like this on my personal save, I would just be doing shooting and stuff like that. Just to make him an insane shooter. But with four games left, three games left to go, we are automatically promoted nonetheless. Another top flight club is coming in for Guyano this time. OGC needs, they want 5 million. The board said we can get 7 point, I think it was 7.9. We'll start at 7.2. 
I will I will not go lower than 6.9 or 6.5 in all honesty. I will lower this down to 7.1, see what they say. We do not want this deal to fall through, so they are willing to pay that. So Guyano will be leaving at the start of next season if he can agree a contract deal. We're going to go ahead and quick sim this game against Swindon Town. Santos is back in that starting at 11 after being tired. It's a 2-2 draw on Santos. Comes to the rescue, saving us from a loss in that last 74th minute there. And there is Bruno Guyano, 7.1 million gone at the beginning of next season. Fortunate, but it is what it is. Final game of the season to lift the league trophy. It's Porter, Price, Soto, Santos, Varela, Martins, Cordova, Steele. Guyano's last game here at the club. Peters, Olsen. Let's see what the boys can do. Guyano's last game for sure. A lot of these other players possibly last game as well. Will lift the league trophy at the end of this game. No matter the result. So strap in, strap on, leave a like and subscribe for a great, great season. And a great run of form at the end of the season starting all the way in February. It's been a crazy long run. I don't think we've lost a game since the beginning of February. It's Vadella on the ball. It's Vadella with the Travella. Travella Vela. That might be a thing we focus on next season. Trying to get him that shot try, that shot trait. Minji in for Hopper. It's 1-0 for Colchester. Out on the wings. He'll cut inside between two defenders. Still Soto cutting back out wide. Now cutting it into Price. And Price with a Travella of his own. Not Travella Vela, but Travella Price. 1-1. One, one. 40 minutes gone by. Hopper fouled by Guyano. I forgot his name for a second. Fouled by Guyano. He's on his way out and he's leaving it without with the mark. It's a red card. His season, his career at Wakefield is over. It's a red card in the 67th minute, and Guyano is done here with Wakefield. Now over to OGC Nice. Yandalu, Paneka down the middle. And it's 3 1. Vadela saved. And that will be game over. We end the season not like we wanted to with a 3 1 loss against Colchester. However, we have won the league. We should be lifting the league trophy, hopefully. And it's looking like we're not. Because it's looking like they're walking off the field. We are lifting the league trophy. Yay! It's going to be... Who's our captain now? Is it Peters? Is Peters our captain? I believe Peters is the captain at the moment. He'll be the one to lick... The, lick? Lick? I mean, hopefully. I mean, he could do whatever he wants, but hopefully he don't lick it. He'll be the one to lift the league trophy. If you have enjoyed this season, leave a like and subscribe. A lot of changes that have been made a lot of good players that have come through over the course of the last six months in this series in the save itself and a lot of players that might be on the way out for next season Guyano came, went out in fashion with a 67th minute red card which essentially lost us the game but it does not matter as we win the league and we are into league one where it's gonna be one hell of a battle and we changed Kasim from a CDM to a right winger and he jumps plus 14 from a 64 to 78 overall he'll instantly be coming into next season for sure and possibly fighting for a top spot or maybe even being instantly sold and at the end of the season Wakefield win the trophy win the league title automatically going up is Bardo in Bradford City it's Salford City Grimsby Town Portville and Doncaster all in the playoffs bottom of the table that would get relegated down to league two or in the national league will be here town and crawley town that will be that obviously that's not going to happen the squad hub our top goal scorer is going to head and be priced with 34 goals eight assists 17 goals for santos 12 assists for him 12 goals for Soto, 16 assists for him, and a fantastic season from the boys. Price has been player of the season. I thought it was going to be Soto, but it is Price. Let's go ahead and look at the other leagues, more specifically the other three English leagues. League 1, leaving League 1 is Lincoln Town, Ipswich, and then either one of those four teams are in the playoffs. Going down to League 2 will be Exeter City, Stevenage, Stockport, and Cambridge United. Rex... Rex Rest in peace, uh, Chesnoy. Rexham survived relegation by 
five, eight points, something like that. Championship. Leeds and Luton are going straight back up. And Leeds United going style. It'll be a playoff between Burnley, Preston, Bournemouth, and Stoke. Going down to League One, and we will be facing off next season. It will be a Sheffield, Bolton, and Huddersfield. And then Premier League winners is Chelsea, with Arsenal finishing in second, and Liverpool and Tottenham wrapping up the top four. Going down to the championship will be Sheffield United, Middlesbrough, and Southampton. If you have enjoyed this series and enjoyed the season so far, leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.